Hi, my name is Elle. I have a service dog in training named Neptune. Hmm, I don't really know what's gonna go. Oh, there she is. <laughs> let me let her in. Mamas! She's 10 months today. She's getting old. <laughs> I don't really know what's gonna go on this channel, but it's probably mostly just gonna be pertaining to Neptune and our, um, like, training and our journey. This video is going to be like all the gear that we've acquired within the past couple of months that I started like buying stuff. I'm gonna start with bandanas. These are Atomic Hound of course. I bought these in like January when I was sad that it was snowing outside. <laughs> so um yeah they're really cute. It also looks really good on Neptune because she's like black and so the bright colors look beautiful. The next thing I'm going to show you is just, I'm not going to go too in-depth, but we do use a mini educator. I got the pink one because it's the prettiest one. It works really well for us. A lot of people say you should wait till they're like six months old to start using this. I waited till she was like maybe seven and a half months because I didn't know if it would work, but I talked to like a couple people who use this. And Neptune, she's a shepherd mix, so she's very... um she has a lot of energy and whenever I would walk her she would just like get a little hyper and then this is really nice because you just like click one of these buttons and then it kind of gets her to like be like hey I'm not supposed to be doing that and I love this thing because when I the first time I put it on her within like 10 minutes she was like walking in a perfect teal and she's walked that way ever since so this is our leash this is from Yup Collars Yup Collars is like an Italian made like leather dog product uh, company. This is just a brown like leather leash and I got nickel hardware. The length is 8 feet and then the width is 3 fourths inch. And I kind of wish I got it in like 7 and a half but I don't think that they do half. But it's a little long but it's okay because um like she's connected here and I always wrap this around my hand for like grounding so it like makes it the right length because I have a pull strap but she's too short for me to like use it when I'm like standing up straight and this was $34 these it came in a pack of two but these just say service dog and training with a hook back I got all this stuff from Etsy by the way unless otherwise stated but like this I got from these I got from Etsy. These were $12.50 for a pack of two from um, an Etsy shop called Happy Rover. And these are just nice because I can just stick them on like whatever um whoops, like vest or harness I'm using. So this is um our like fleece harness. This is from Poodle Paws Gear. Um, and when I was initially, like, picking the colors I wanted, like, her vest to be, not her, not this, her vest, I wanted it to be green, because green is my favorite color, and then for, like, the secondary color, I didn't really know what I wanted, but then I ended up going with pink, because she's a girl, and everyone thinks she's a boy, because I always put her in green, and her name is Neptune. Then I was on Instagram, and, um... I saw that Poodle Paws Gear posted a picture of this and then I went on their Etsy and I saw this and I was like I want it but I don't think it's her size and then like two weeks later I went on their Etsy and um, it was still up and it was her size so I ended up buying it because what are the odds that it's our colors and it has a little pull strap but like I said it's a little too short so I keep it on her because it looks cute she doesn't do any sort of momentum or anything like she isn't, I don't need that. Also, she's really tiny and she's only 10 months, so like I can't really do it anyways. But also I put Velcro, like a little Velcro strip right there, just so that I can put this little thing so that she's labeled. I know she doesn't need to be labeled, but like it just sometimes makes it easier. 
and but not all the time because some people don't know how to read. And I was gonna, I know most people put like the things on the side, but because of how I need it to be adjusted for her, I was gonna put the Velcro like right here, but this is right there, so I just decided to put it on the top. And I freaking love this thing. Like I almost didn't buy it, but then I bought it. And then it took a long time to adjust because <laughs> there's a lot of different places you can adjust it at. But it's really nice. Also, she looks so cute in it. This is not custom. I think that she does do custom orders, but this was not custom. However, if I, this is what I would have gotten. But this was 47. Okay, I believe that this is the last thing. That's the last thing? You already done? I know. I don't know what happened last time. I don't know. I, when I tried around. to film this video last time, I had 55 minutes of footage. Now I have like maybe 15 altogether. <laughs> so I don't really know what happened. This is the final thing, kind of. This is um, our vest. I ordered this from Designer Doodle. And I'm obsessed with it. It looks so cute. I sewed her the patches on. She does do customs, that's how I got this. I think that she only does customs, to be honest. But if you wanna order from her, if you like this, which you should, cause it's so cute, I'll somewhere put her, um, the Instagram. But to order from her, you just um, DM her on Instagram. But this is um, a size medium. However, if I do order from her again, which I'm planning on it sometime, I'm probably gonna get a large. It's not that this doesn't fit her, I just think she would look a little bit better in a large, but that's my fault. This is in the shade Grass Green, I think, or in the color Grass Green. What is this, a makeup tutorial? Sorry if the angle changed, we ran out of storage. <laughs> Here's a cute little story. So, <laughs> when I first adopted Neptune, like last summer, we took her to Petco, um, because like leading up to when I got her, um, I kept like going to like Petco and PetSmart and like picking stuff out that I wanted for my first dog. And I got a collar for her, a really little tiny collar, she was really tiny. That was this color, and so her first collar was this color, and so was her first vest. But then I got like, she added like Velcro on either side, loops, and then... I also have a little ask for a little poop bag thing, which this is only an extra dollar. And then because I live in America and she lives in Canada, this I believe was 32, like the base medium vest. And then like the Velcro on either side I think was like $2. And then the little hole for the poop bags was like $1. So it wasn't, it's, I mean, for her first vest, I wasn't going to spend like a hundred bucks. But yeah, I love this a lot. And I don't like, I don't really like, um, well, I don't have one, but I don't think that I would like, like, a really stiff one. This is not very stiff, so if you like that, because I feel like shepherds look weird in, like, s square, like, stuff like that, because they're, like, triangular shaped. She's kind of round, because she's a mix, but I think that it would still look weird on her. And then, um, it comes, like, standard with... All these D-rings and then um, the pockets on either side. Which in this pocket I just have her poop bags. And then in this pocket I have like ADA cards. Just a little stack of them just in case. I haven't had to use them yet but I'm sure I will. And then her patches um, on the back. These are just her patches. When I was picking them out, like I picked this one and this one out, which this one says PTSD in the middle, but I got that removed. I asked if I could remove that because I don't have that. So, but then before I checked out, I realized I didn't get anything that says like, don't distract. So then I kind of got this one last second, but like good because I mean, people should just know anyways, but some people are freaking stupid. So I got it in pink. Like I said, I wanted pink. So people would kind of get that she was a girl. Not that it matters, but like it matters to me. And then I also got two leash wraps. Oh, these are from Patience in Love, by the way. I don't know if I said that on um, Etsy. 
but she also, it looks like, has a website, but I just ordered these from Etsy. Oh, while I'm snapping this on, I actually have something to say. I don't have boots for her, so if you come across this video and you have a dog and you have boots that you really like for them, let me know, because I'm kind of, I have no clue where to get them from. Because I was going to get her rough wear ones, but then, like, Claire um, and Percy, like, it messes with her dew claws and I don't really want that for Neptune because my other dog has a weird thing with his dew claws and he tries to rip them off and I don't really want it messing with her dew claws so if you have any suggestions let me know. This just snaps on the leash just like so. This is custom. All of the stuff from her you like pick the colors out. You can also get like custom like words on it. You can make like your own custom patch or like leash wrap. But this I just got gray with green writing and this side says unless invited do not approach. And then this side I was a little nervous about getting this but then I showed my sister it and then she said because I was like is that too harsh to say <laughs> and then she was like no it's the truth. So this side says do not speak to me I will not respond because if you see on my vest I says selective mutism. Of course people don't read but and then I got this for on the front of her vest. This is also just a leash wrap, but I just put it right on the front. It's just gray with um, pink writing, and then it just says in training, please don't approach. Back, it is April right now, but back in um, September, my sister and I went to DragCon in New York, and I got this little um, Miss Cracker pin and I got it because I was like Neptune is going to be a service dog it's all gonna work out and it's gonna go on her vest and that's where she stays so that's most of our gear I didn't show like all of her collars because she has a, a bunch of them but I don't really know what's gonna go on this channel but maybe some vlogs maybe some dogs <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks for watching Subscribe, like, do all that jazz. Let me know what boots you like in the in the uh, comments. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>